everybody, welcome to another VOD review by me, Kozan. Today we're watching some Silver Orissa gameplay. Um, it's on Horizon, Lunar Colony. Let's uh, let's take a look here. We've got a Junkrat, Soldier, Symmetra, Anna and a Reinhardt. The Reinhardt there will allow you to be a bit more liberal with your shielding. Uh, the Reinhardt, of course, being able to block this as well, or you being able to block off the middle bit in case there's any long-range DPS further back. Um, you have a Symmetra, that's that's okay, uh, the Junkrat, Soldier. Um, I would say, yeah, I think you've set this as well in your game as well. But uh, if you do set up on the high ground, let me get my color here. If you do set up on the high ground, it's a little bit harder for the enemy team to actually uh, get up here. Especially if they want to push through here. You do have the Junkrat and the Symmetra, that's a really good choke for you to hold. If they do push through on the other side then you can always drop down from the low ground over here and then you can start contesting uh, the points yeah. to the left of you. Um, so yeah, even if you do have your team that's that's kind of doing I this... I really love to do that when I, I hold the high uh, Yeah, this is where you say it. Like like the, the Junkrat is going up there right now, so if you, if you just kind of stick with him... Um, that could actually help out quite a bit. Also, you'll be in another target, right? And you're gonna be gonna be in distraction for people that uh, are gonna want to dive this soldier over here because they're gonna see you first and uh, way more up close, um, making you a lot more of a threat. Let me lower the volume here just a little bit. Okay. So attack is incoming. Ooh, you're shooting the balls. Okay, the halt ability. Um, I, I don't like the way you use the halt ability here. I'll explain why. The reason why I don't like it is basically they are right now... They're going to have to push around this corner anyway, right? So you're kind of just giving them a little bit of space. And you're, you're only buying yourself maybe like half a second extra to, to shoot at. Also, you can pre-shoot a little bit quicker here. Um, but the thing is about the hold ability, it pulls people backwards. So if they were already trying to get past here, right, and they were kind of uh, either here going inside of here, and then you pull them out again, you buy yourself a whole lot more time. Because right now, um, you would have this time shooting at them anyway, right? So try to use your, your hold ability more to pull them backwards instead of trying to pull them forwards. Especially in situations like these. Um, that's... That big orb you just saw flying in, just ignore it, just, you gotta keep shooting there. And, uh, yeah, like, we see right now, the, the diva is jumping the soldier straight away. And your hold ability, right, if you still had it, and you saw him come in like that, you could have maybe gotten that, that diva way off the high ground and away from your soldier, making him a lot more safe. Uh, okay, so you see them pushing on the left side, and you go on the right side here. First of all, uh, you had a bit of downtime, and you, you had a moment to reload here, uh, because you weren't really shooting there. Also, I, I felt like you probably should have gone on the... Well, I don't mind actually che you checking here for a little moment because of that diva, but your soldier got the D-Max, so... If you keep an eye out, like, on that... When did he get it? So he got it... There, okay, so yeah, that's... It's a bit unfortunate. But yeah, the soldier should have retreated there a little bit sooner, honestly, I feel like, as well. But if you were on the high ground, right? Think about this. Think about this. If you were still on the high ground, first of all, it's easier for you to halt that uh, diva off the high ground yourself. Second of all, it's a lot more doable for you to give him cover fire, right? You can still shoot the, the diva up here from over there. And right now, you you would, like you, you just saw, you, you had to kind of go over there and for a moment be... Um, not putting any value into this fight, but luckily your soldier uh, is carrying here, and he, he did manage to demac that diva instantly. But yeah, so if you were on that high ground, that that would have helped out a lot actually. Um, shooting here, that's fine. You think you, you you had a moment there for a while to to try and like I don't mind. Um, Especially now that that Ryan is pushing out, you could you can try your halt ability here at this door. I see you do this a couple of times, but yeah. Just knowing that there must be more people here. Also, your Junkrat is still there, so I, you, you know, if you if you start pushing with that Junkrat and uh, start holding the choke over there, you can actually shield more for for your Junkrat. Especially because you still have your uh, Reinhardt here on the point, of course. So 
you, you should be able to block for, for your Ana and your Symmetra anyway. Because right now you have two shields that are hardly getting shot at all. Oh. And uh, yeah, the fighting has already kind of begun, right? So you, you, you haven't really gotten much use out of both of the shields. So this is kind of lucky with the <laughs> with the Reinhardt flying into a trap over here. Um, let me see there. Okay, this was kind of still mid fight, so you were reloading with uh, 120, uh, yeah, 112 bullets. <laughs> sorry, um, you didn't really have to reload here. It was unnecessary. You still could get more value trying to poke out, get a halt, and then immediately try to shoot whatever is was trying to follow up on that Reinhardt. Right now, um, your Junkrat did get taken down, and maybe if you if you were a little bit more with him, this this would have been uh, a little bit more doable. But yeah, a good rule is basically um, as long as there's fighting going on and you're you're pretty close to get a line of sight, you don't want to reload. You just want to keep those bullets in your pocket, especially this amount. This that was a huge amount. Um, and you know, the more you reload, the less value you get in the team fight because you do you do less damage. So Henso over there, um, just stay behind this Rhine shield, it's really important. Henso, he can actually one-shot you, even with 400 HP as Orisa. If he just scatter shots you on, uh, on the ground, um, yeah, you're, you're still dead. So you gotta be really careful and never poke against the Henso, unless you do have a shield. Okay, so you do stay in front of him, but now... Now, like, you, you should've... This, this scatter shot should've killed you, honestly. If this was a better Henso, you would've died right here. So you, um... Let's see. If you could have moved your shield right here as soon as you see this this Rhine, you can try to move it maybe a little bit like this, and then you kind of have this entrance uh, covered, and then you can more easily do the the halt ability right on the hand side and just keep shooting him from there. Pick one, buddy. Pick one. Um, also, a good tip for Orisa is shield stacking. It's a little bit harder to do on Horizon because the the roof is very low. In comparison to other maps, basically the idea of shield stacking is uh, when you shoot your shield upwards, the reload of your, well, the cooldown of your shield will already go off. And once your shield uh, starts to, the cooldown starts to go off, um, you know, you, you'll get a new shield quicker, first of all. But second of all, your, your first shield that you just shot up in the air only um, basically can get hurt when, when it drops on the ground and also... It will stay for a longer period. Well, not a, really a longer period, but uh, you know, it only stays for a certain amount of time, and that time only starts as soon as it lands on the ground. So if you do shoot it up on the ground, up high in the air, um, you can get a little bit more shield walling there, basically, because then ba you know you your your shield will land, and then immediately afterwards, if they do have a lot of burst damage and, and shoot it down immediately afterwards. Then you immediately have your own shield to uh, to throw down again because you you know you shut it up and you made your cooldown uh, go well or or be shorter anyway. All right, um, let me think about this again. Shooting the mercy, you could have halted her there uh, as soon as you saw her trying to follow up with that monkey. You could have tried to shoot the halt uh, before she went in that little corridor. Kind of desyncing them here. Your and I and Reinhard are kind of. Don't push too far up. Fortunately, okay, okay. Um, you turn around here for this diva. Basically, if in Overwatch, if you move backwards, it's the same speed as you move forward. So you should have just kept your eyes on this on this diva right here, so you don't lose track of her. Push too far up. Um, because you you kind of do it here, and then you know you don't do as much. So just keep looking at her, and, and um, Arissa does go slower when you start shooting, of course, So and you were kind of in the line of sight there. But still, if you just move backwards and keep your eyes on him, and then just, you know, tap instead of just continuously shoot, so you still have some more movement to get yourself back to safety over here. This halt as well, I think you do say it's a bit unnecessary. Um, you say it's unnecessary, well... Yeah, because you know you needed to aim, but she is still being being hurt by a lot of Symmetra turrets and uh, Symmetra herself. So she, this Nini Diva would have died anyway. Probably unnecessary for me to do that. But... Yeah, 
Okay. okay, so uh, here again, we know that most of them are on the left. The Mercy even just rests that hand, so, so you definitely wanted to put your shield up on the left choke. For, just so you can cover that junk and Symmetra over there a little bit better. And now you're gonna go for it. Yeah, very, very slow with your shield here, right? Um, this junk... And now you... Oh boy. Okay, this junk just uses his ult, so... You do not really want to leave him right now. Um, you kind of want to be his bodyguard for when he's doing this and uh, help him out. Don't think he gets punished too hard, but yeah. If you're still there and you you know you have your shield there nearby, then it's a lot easier to uh, to kind of protect him. He does go in there. It's a bit unfortunate, but maybe if he had a shield, you you know maybe he would have stayed there. Ah, oh, this is some ambulance or something. And it's gone. Okay, he probably wouldn't have because it is silver, but yeah, you know, the option would have been there for him. And then it would have been his mistake, but right now there was no shield there anyway. Um, but yeah, he shouldn't have gone in there, but still. Um, Mercy and her Valk is really tricky to shoot. I mean, this is, this is changed right now, so maybe... I need to more experience on that. This is very unfortunate, the, the Tracer getting three of your guys at the same time. I'm not sure if that was really your fault. I like your hold ability here, that was very good use. Um, of course you were using your shields, then using the hold to pull them backwards, like this. Very well done. Also you're targeting fire, I'm not sure how on purpose this was, because you say you're not that good at aiming. But that's, that's really good. Targeting this Moira before you shoot anything else. Uh, the Mercy's still in, in Valk, of course, so she's hard to hit. The Monkey, uh, a, lot of, a lot of health, and, you know, he will be healed up by that Moira right behind him. So, shooting this Moira, very good. Unfortunately, this, this defect comes after you. Let's take one more quick look. Um, yeah, you, you could have, as soon as you... Let's take one more look. So, one, two... Okay, over here. You could have tried to... Well, maybe then you wouldn't have got any shots, but yeah, you could have very quickly just tilted your camera down and put down a new shield, uh, so you're you're a little bit more protected from your from your flanks. I mean, you're already really low here, so it probably wouldn't have mattered anyway, especially because it's Diva that would just fly in. But in other situations, it might help you out to just quickly use that shield in situations like these. Okay. So let's go to the next uh, fight over here. Um, let's see what you have as team. Still the Junkrat. So okay, okay. Okay, so now you have a Diva instead of Reinhardt. That's pretty good. Uh, usually you see a lot more diving tanks on this point, but I mean it, it's still very doable as Arisa, especially uh, on this rank, it should still be carryable. Winston right side. Kind of keeping these guys busy. Um, I wouldn't mind if you were a little bit further back here because right now you have no idea what's going on on the on the right side entrances. Thank you, Sam. Anyway, it's soldier is right now. And the soldier killing himself, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, because you don't have really a good eye on the right side right now, because you were inferred backwards, um, it's really hard for you to, to really know where to be. I mean, yeah, get, killing this Hansa probably would have been the best thing you could have done, honestly, at that point. Because nobody could contest. Well, yeah, you're a little slow maybe to get to the point here, because right now your Anna has to contest the point. Um, so I still think like it should have kind of been a diva kind of thing, but to go up there and, and kill the Hanso. But you, you're taking responsibility for that, so that's good. That's valid. And then you, you could have you moved onto the point a little bit quicker, I guess. Uh, over here, let's see this again. Okay, you can, as soon as you see this message, again, uh, pop up here. You can just quickly glance at the top right, see whether or not that was the Mercy actually dying, and then you know you don't have to go around this corner anymore and exposing yourself. 
and just uh, be a little bit quicker there. Okay, so that was all right aiming. I mean, it's not the greatest, but you know, it's pretty good. Oh, that was uh, that was good pre-shooting, by the way. That was uh, well done. Unfortunately, your your halt just disconnected uh, before you you pressed it, but that was pretty good. Good pre-shooting. Okay, um, I'm not sure if I like this too much. You s just saw that a lot of them are over here, right? Trying to push this low ground, and then your team is still there as well. You have a Torbjorn now, actually. So where is your turret? Is it? Yeah, because they were already on the low ground, I feel like you you just uh, you probably could have stayed over here. Well. Either over here somewhere near this truck, or, or somewhere on the low ground a little bit more, just so you can contest the uh, the point. Or even, uh, yeah, as long as you have kind of your shield blocking uh, entrance to, to your back line there. Uh, oh. Get rid of this. There we go. Mm, okay, so now... Because they didn't have a tank underneath, right? Where they were already pushing. Uh, right now, they, they kind of just rolled in. And are making the, the, the low ground beneath you, where you don't have fission right now, very difficult and very contested for, for your team. So I, I see now where the turret is. It's right next to this truck. So if you were next to the tur turret a little bit earlier, you probably could have zoned out this monkey a little bit better for your mercy. Uh, this diva bomb... I, I appreciate what you're trying to do with your with your shield, <laughs> but I'm not sure if it would have worked out. I think it would have been better to just keep your shield here, and um, that way it, it becomes a lot more doable for you to keep the point here. Because then you can shield yourself in this little uh, crevice, basically, where you're at right now. Like so. Uh, making it very hard for them to get to you. Also, you could probably throw your bungos down in, in that shield. And try to make, uh, you know, pull back from here. That's that's how you can kind of carry at that moment, right? By doubling your damage that way and then trying to not give them too much. Unfortunately, though, uh, because you didn't have your shield for too long, you, you took a lot of damage. Also, uh, a good tip about Orisa is when to use your shield and when to use the, uh, the fortify ability. Basically, when you want to use your shield is when you're in a good position to stand still and just hold that position. You want to use the fortify ability more so when you're trying to move around and when you need to make a distance to somewhere else. Just so, you know, because you can't use your shield in those cases, you're not a Reinhardt. You need to use that fortification uh, to, to try and take different points. So if you're taking damage and you're trying to move around, then use the fortify. If you're in a good spot to hold then and you're taking damage, immediately try to throw down that shield. And that I think that's also kind of a thing for you right now. You're not too familiar yet with the cooldowns of the shield and the fortify, so you don't really use them um, to the maximum of their abilities. Okay. So, I think that was. I think I got got a bunch of stuff for you right now to really think about. But uh, let's see. So there was one more thing over here. Just a little bit of quick reaction. Um, your Anna and this Henso right here. Um, you, you probably should have tried to shoot a shield in between these two, right? Because the the Henso, if it's a good Henso, you'll kill your your Anna here. Fortunately for you, this this Taya manages to blow him up. But uh, yeah, it, it kind of seemed like you were you weren't too aware of his positioning yet. Okay. You know, you were kind of tunnel visioning on just getting on that point, and I, well, I guess you had to. But uh, yeah, I, I just think you could have tried to shoot that that shield a little bit quicker and then land it onto the points, uh, while also trying to make it block for the for the Anna. Instead of you walking all the way onto the point and then throwing down the shield. Just try to throw that shield down a little bit quicker. It's going to make it safer for you to walk over there as well. 
Tracer right side, Tracer behind. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't mind this too much. You don't have to get that close to Tracer. And don't forget your shield there. Mm. Okay, so let's let's see if we see anything incredible here. So holding this position with your soldier, that's all right. So you, you definitely want to use your fortify here a little bit quicker, right? This is one of those times you want to break the rules of when you're not moving. Well, actually, you can still kind of move away from this position. I'm not sure how much healing you're getting. But yeah, you, you were a little bit slow on that fortify there. And also, you're, you were a little bit slow on the, the cooldown of your shield. Uh, so yeah, that's that's that was the one thing I wanted to point out there. Um, okay, there was one other thing. Which happens over over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over here. It's, uh, and then I'm going to call it uh, quits because I think I've given you enough information. So, look at this. You're, you're, as you're coming in here, look at this Mercy as well, right? And uh, the Tracer trying to chase her. Uh, she's blinking in after her. Right there, you, you just see there's a lot of clutter, but uh, yeah, as long as you play this, you, you'll get more familiar with this. Uh, this is Tracer still blinking away over here. Actually, using recall. And uh, just keep eyes on this. Well, as Mercy's healing you, you see her health go down slowly, right? There we go. You see that she's being really bothered by this Tracer. Um... You probably would have wanted to try and turn around and, and support your Mercy. Try and force that Tracer away. Because that that was pretty much the biggest priority for them to take down. And if you, if you can keep that Mercy alive, then that's that's a very big potential for you to carry that game. Or at least like the biggest value for you to, to you know, to uh, carry. Okay, now, now you see it, but yeah. The Mercy or right shook her off. Uh, well, fortunately, your Mercy managed to, to shake her off. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to call it there. Dude, I hope I hope it, w it was helpful. I hope you got some good insights. And uh, yeah, I think I think you, you should definitely be able to at least get to, to gold and uh, probably platinum afterwards. If you just get a little bit more on top of your cooldowns and a little bit more aware of uh, your surroundings, basically. And uh, yeah, just... Using that shield a little bit more proactive as well. Okay. Um, yeah, that was it for this one, guys. Have a good one. See you next time.